So this is an old Macintosh SC I had for quite some time now. I pulled it out of storage to do something uh, I believe every person collecting old computers should definitely do. So this Mac has some issues. For example, it won't boot from the uh, hard disk drive, but we're gonna be addressing those issues later. At this point, what I wanted to do is check the battery. So I started taking it apart, which for these old compact Macs is really quite easy. There's just only a couple of screws in the back and you need a long skinny Torx screwdriver to get to them. Once I had it apart, I was quite relieved to see the battery hadn't leaked or exploded. So I pulled the motherboard out, clipped out the battery and started setting everything up on my workbench. What? This is, this is unbelievable. This battery is over 30 years old. It's made in West Germany and it still holds a good charge. Even though the meter shows three volts, almost three volts, 2.94 volts, that doesn't mean that you don't have to change out this battery because the fact that it might not hold the charge isn't the biggest issue here. The bigger issue is that these batteries tend to explode. And I'm gonna prove that to you. I'm gonna show you a different Mac. Uh, this is a Mac SC30. And when I pulled out the motherboard from that particular Mac, the battery uh, had not just leaked, but it had exploded all over the motherboard and the IO shield and it had completely ruined uh, this board and this board at this point is beyond repair. So the reason we're taking out these batteries is has nothing to do with them not holding a charge and not saving everything to the BIOS. It has to do with them um, exploding and leaking and ruining the motherboard. So I tried cleaning the board. I soaked it for numerous days in vinegar and alcohol and also distilled water. And that didn't improve the situation. It still gave off the striped pattern on the screen, which can sometimes also be caused by bad capacitors. So I tried replacing them, but unfortunately uh, there was no change. And at this point, this board is uh, essentially irreparable. And just to show you, this isn't just something that affects old Macintoshes. I have an old 286 here with a very similar problem. When I first started testing it, I found that the computer just wouldn't stay on. I would try powering it on and it would just turn itself off in a matter of like a second. So I thought, okay, the power supply must be dead. But when I tried powering the computer on without the motherboard in place, it would power on just fine. So I found that the leakage from the battery had actually caused a short on the motherboard. I clipped the battery off and started cleaning off the corrosion. And even though this board doesn't seem to be in such a bad shape, it still has a short in it. So I tested all the traces and I still couldn't find a short. So I suspect it's under one of the connectors or something. I'm sure I'm going to find it one day, but it just goes to show that even a non-catastrophic battery leakage can lead to serious problems on the motherboard. So let's get back to swapping out that battery on my Macintosh SC. So we're gonna be replacing this one with a nice, simple three volt uh, coin battery holder. Now this is the uh, CR2032 three volt lithium cell, but you can also use any other number of coin cell batteries. This is a CR2025. They're all three volts and they're gonna work just fine on this board. Now we're gonna solder this coin cell battery to the old tank board and we're gonna save it from having battery leakage. So I soldered in the button cell battery holder in place of the old battery. And yeah, you can tell that it's not as elegant as the previous battery, but this one is not going to leak, which means I don't have to worry about another battery ruining my motherboard on my precious old computer. So this is a public service announcement. If you do have any old computer sitting in your closet, make sure to remove any old batteries you might have on them. Thanks so much for watching.